Hello everyone, welcome back to my J physics channel. In this channel, as I keep telling you, I am very much committed for the best content to the students. So here is the question. Uh, it's a pathfinder question uh, from the kinematics uh, uh, MCQ question number 19. So I hope uh, you will try this question and uh, come back for the solution. So if you are watching for the first time my videos, please do subscribe and uh, uh, if you really love the content uh, like it at the same time please share it with your friends so that uh, channel will go grow further and this is the question as a part of uh, as a part of uh, j advanced series 2023 or uh, this is the video uh, by keeping the mind that students who are uh, just solving kinematics from the 11th standard uh, even the students of 12th standard also you can utilize this series uh, 11th standard series even repeaters also can utilize the series if you are uh, uh, want to do the questions from the kinematics. So please, uh, if you are if you are in the 12th standard, please pass it to your uh, juniors so that uh, it will be helpful for them also. So then, this is the question. Uh, uh, there are two balls A and B are simultaneously released from two frictionless inclined planes. So here, the important uh, important statement is frictionless inclined planes. So why this is important because if you are keeping any object on smooth inclined plane then the object will slide down with what acceleration g sin theta. So a will accelerate downward with acceleration g sin theta even b also. So that's for to identify this acceleration this statement is important. Next inclined planes have the same e equal inclination. See whenever you are solving a physics question I always uh, uh, request everybody to read question carefully every statement of the question will give you some idea to solve the question so inclined plane inclination is same that means theta even this also will be theta that's why i wrote sin, sin theta and sin theta okay initially i wrote it previously so now it will coincide now the bars pass through particular horizontal level after 12 and 4 seconds after they were released obviously simultaneously that means a will slide down even b also will slide down so after some time so obviously b will take less time okay so after four seconds b will be here okay b uh, takes four seconds and a will be somewhere here okay uh, after 12 seconds but what they have given they have given that a and b both are along the same horizontal level okay so with the same horizontal level logic what conclusion we can make we can make the conclusion that this angle is theta even this also will be theta so if i take x is the distance came down here so from here that a will come down by x amount because it's something like an isosceles triangle then what is the initial separation between a and b is initial separation between a and b also not given in the question so that i'm taking as simply l L is the initial separation between A and B. Now the question is after how long? I mean after what time they will be closest to each other. So it is closest to dis distance between two bodies. So which is obviously related to relative motion. So why it is related to relative motion also I will explain. So please stick to the video. Ah, now here we made some uh, what they say that uh, some quantities which are not given in the question. What is that? One thing is L. L is not given in the question. Even X is also not given in the question. Even theta also not given in the question. So we took so many unknowns. Hmm? Okay. So as unknowns are increasing, so you can understand that that would become the tough huh? question will become tough, right? Okay. Yeah. So what is the displacement or distance traveled down the inclined plane by the B? So if I'm calculating for the B, okay. So it will come down by X amount then x is equal to, i can write down ut plus half a square simple kinematic equations i'm using nothing else so x is equal to u value zero because it is from the uh, particular positions on the inclined plane plus half into acceleration value will become g sin theta into time value as given four second obviously we will take less time okay so this is x value half g sin theta into four square Similarly, total distance came down by A is, you can say that this is L plus X. Okay. So for A object, it is L plus X. Again, U value is 0 plus half into, okay, uh, G sin theta into, again, how much time it will take? 12. So 12 square. 
so this is the uh, some information according to whatever information is given i made the equations now i want to get relation between l and x okay so as we don't know l value even x values so let us go with the l and x relation i think somewhere it has to be useful okay so that is the uh, what they say that uh, uh, one thing what I'm observing. So let us go with the 2 by 1 L plus X by X I'm doing If I do L plus X by X it is 12 by 4 whole square Half G centered will cancel out. It is 3 square which is 9 Then L plus X is equal to I can write down 9X Then L value will become how much? 8X Okay, so this is the one relation we got. So uh, We keep it aside and we are going to use this relation later Okay uh, now the question is what is the closest distance between two particles so for that I'm taking the again uh, diagram as it is now we know that a come down with acceleration what a acceleration will be g sin theta downward even b acceleration also will be g sin theta downward so as I want to find out the minimum distance between a and b now I want to keep the b at rest actually b is sliding i cannot make it as rest so that's why what i do is i do everything with respect to b if i'm doing with respect to b that means b will be at rest that is the logic okay so that means i have, i want to find out the initial velocity of a with respect to b because obviously we want to go with velocity acceleration displacement and all that's why so uh, initial velocity of a minus initial velocity of b so this is the relative velocity simple formula here it is uh, both initial velocities are zero so similarly i want to find out the acceleration of a with respect to b so then acceleration of a minus acceleration of b that means we have to go with the negative sign of acceleration of the b so i'll take see this is the b acceleration which is g sin theta now i want to take exactly opposite to that exactly opposite to that so I think it is not looking like opposite so but still take it so g sin theta is the minus of a b bar so this is minus of a b bar and this is a a bar acceleration of a g sin theta acceleration of b is minus g sin theta okay so that's why I wrote opposite so if I make a one horizontal see I want to find out now acceleration of a I want to find out acceleration of a as seen by what as seen by the b or with respect to b we are calculating everything with respect to b now that's why b is at rest so as b is at rest i want to know that how the a will move hmm? okay so obviously with the horizontal this inclined plane makes an angle theta or g sin theta makes an angle theta even this g sin theta is opposite to this right so this also will make an angle this inclined plane also will make an angle theta with the horizontal so this should be theta again so now i want to find out the resultant of these g sin thetas so what are the resultant i can make into components okay so g sin theta component is g sin theta into cos theta the other component is g sin square theta okay so g sin theta into sin theta so g sin square theta i wrote directly and here again the component of g sin theta for this vector so g sin theta into cos theta so again g sin theta into sin theta which is g sin square theta so these two components are opposite so we'll cancel out so these two components will add up then i what is the acceleration of a will be the acceleration of a will be 2 g sin theta cos theta you can write down g sin 2 theta also uh, but i'm keeping as it is uh, because i can think that uh, the cos theta term will go and cancel out you can do anyway mathematics it's of your choice so that means here one thing you need to observe that is how the a will move as seen by the b as seen by the b a will travel along the horizontal line something like this this is the motion of a okay then what is the closest distance when both will be uh, very close to each other so a and b will be close to each other whenever a is at some place here when a comes to here then a and b will be very close to each other so now we need to find out the time for this happens that means a will travel from here to this position whenever a is traveling this much displacement or this much distance as seen by the b then minimum separation this is the minimum separation minimum separation will happen between the a and b so then how much distance it will travel 
with acceleration of 2g sin theta cos theta. So for that you can take this is the a particle and somewhere here b is there and this is the point okay. So a will travel along the straight line and this is the minimum separation between the a and b. And if I am connecting the a and b that will be along the inclined plane and this angle will be obviously theta okay this angle okay this angle will be theta and this is l we have taken then this length how much distance a has to travel to separation become minimum l cos theta it has to travel so l cos theta displacement it has to travel with the acceleration of 2g sin theta with initial velocity of zero relatively so everything we are doing with respect to b don't forget that so then i can use s is equal to ut plus half at square logic right uh, then what is the displacement is l cos theta what is the initial velocity is 0 plus half into what is the acceleration value is 2g sin theta cos theta i told you no why i am not writing the uh, sin 2 theta because it is going to cancel out that's why t square obviously t value we want to find out so you can cancel out now 2 cancel out uh, cos theta also will cancel out right then finally t square is equal to l by g sin theta so now our task is to identify l by g sin theta value so for that what we do is we use the previous equations so we have got the l and x relation right so at the same time if i take the first equation i take the first equation which is x is equal to half g sin theta into uh, 4 square which is nothing but 16 then l value i can write down sorry x value i can write down l by 8 which is half into no not not required half because half will cancel out uh, you can cancel it okay then you can find out the value of uh, l by g sin theta you can take any equation doesn't matter uh, just i have taken the first equation as it is written first time that's it so this is g sin theta into 8 then l by g sin theta will be equal to 8 into 8 this will be 8 square so same same value i am going to use at the second i mean next uh, thing wherever t square value i calculated so t square is equal to l by g sin theta which is 8 square then l value will become what uh, sorry t value will become what 8 seconds so this is the required answer for the question so you can go with the option of uh, b okay so uh, if you really love the content please uh, do like it and please share with your friends so that it is really helpful for my channel to grow further and please stick to the series if you are in the 11th standard please stick to the channel so that you will you are going to get uh, very beautiful uh, videos uh, in this entire two years thank you so much we'll meet in the next video